a priest friend of mine went out to another state to give a retreat for priests. And at the end of the evening, he met with, I guess, what would be kind of the, the spiritual director for the diocese. I'm trying to think if he went to confession or if he just spoke with him. But the, he, had, he had gotten up early and he had met with people. He had given a talk. They had had mass. He had met with people. He had given another talk. He had been busy all day. He was really tired. <laughs> and, and the priest said, all right, well, I, I want you to go and read Luke chapter 17, 7 through 10. And he said, I was so angry. He says, here I worked hard all day long. And I thought this guy was going to say, you know, you went the extra mile, we really appreciate it. <laughs> what does he say? We are just unprofitable servants. We have done what we were obliged to do. <clears throat> there is a certain ordering, though. And, and, and this is important. If we get this wrong, then it will have huge consequences later on. Who is the master? Who is the servant? And are we meant to remain servants forever? We are serving the Lord because he is God. But we are also serving the Lord who emptied himself, took the form of a slave, and became obedient for our salvation. So we are imitating the Lord, we are imitating the Master when we are obedient servants. He wants to lift us up to reign with him in heaven. We're going to get to that on Sunday. Uh, that'll be in Sunday's homily. Uh, but in order to do this, our lives have to be in order. If my life is out of control, I cannot give it to the Lord. If my finances are out of control, I cannot give to the Lord or to the poor or to anything else. If my time is not under control, I will have nothing to give to the Lord. And so when Jesus speaks about the servant who is just doing what is required of him, then he's able to do more or to go the extra mile. But we can't do that if our lives are out of control. And if we go back to uh, what St. Paul is writing to Titus, and, and the important thing here is you must say what is consistent with sound doctrine. In other words, this is not an effective management book. All right, this is not seven habits of uh, an effective person. This is not the, uh, the popular woman now who's teaching people how to organize their closets and stuff. This is including that, but it is consistent with sound doctrine. In my life, am I dealing with things in a way that is controlled according to the rules of Christ? Am I living my life in imitation of Jesus? It's not effective for uh, effective uh, for effectiveness sake. I am driven, I am moved to follow Jesus. And so I want to do what I am obliged to do wisely, in a, in a worldly sense now, wisely. When I was a young priest, I joined a, a priest prayer group. And the first time I came, they said, all right, here's what we do. We pray every day a certain amount of time uh, we get together once a week to pray, and, and we tithe. And I said, oh my gosh, I don't have enough money to tithe. Because back in those days, the priest did not make much at all. 
I said, but there's no way I can tithe. I, I'm practically broke. And the priest said, all the rest of us do it. Try it. I said, I can't. He says, try it with, instead of tithing is 10%, try it with 5%. So I tried it with 5%, and it didn't kill me. And so after six months, I tried it with 10%. Now, mind you, I took the 5% and then the 10% out before I could spend it. I had been trying to do 10% with what I had left over at the end of the month. When I started taking out that 10% at the beginning of the month, I became more careful in how I was spending. And I had to remind myself, why am I buying this or why am I not buying this so that I can give 10% to the church? After I had done that for uh, a year, a year and a half, I said, you know something? I'm not putting anything away for my retirement. And so I said, all right, at the beginning of the month, I'm going to take another 10% and I'm going to put it into a retirement account. Lo and behold, I didn't die. I still had money left over. When my life is out of control, it is not lived in a way that is consistent with sound doctrine. God created everything with an order. And when we live our lives orderly on an earthly, in an earthly sense, but founded on sound doctrine, we will do great things for the Lord. We will be good stewards.